Welp, this is gonna be one weird video for a recovering drug addict like myself to make. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and discuss them and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And did you know, did you know that I am all up on social media? We are almost at 10,000 followers over on Instagram. Make sure you go follow me over on there, especially. I just, I like having that little swipe up feature, all right? That way I can just link you guys to videos on the stories and all that kind of stuff. So go follow me on Instagram, as well as on Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, all right? So, yeah, I wanna talk about YouTube's double standard, and this is something that we see all the time, everywhere, but I wanna focus on YouTube, all right? So Tana Mojo just released a video um, about like get baked with me while I bake or something like that where she gets high and bakes some cupcakes. You go Tana Mojo, you go, all right? So I'm gonna talk about uh, a, t a topic that's been on my mind for like well over a year now and I was like, oh, you know what Chris, let's, let's make this video. So let me give you a little bit of background on myself as well as some channels that I've followed on YouTube, okay? So, those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Chris. I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. Uh, I got sober June 23rd, 2012. So next month, I'll be coming up on seven years clean and sober. That's right, no drugs, no alcohol, no pot, no beer, no nothing, all right? No um, uh, medications that could be addictive, nada, I'll, okay? So anyways, when I, when I started my YouTube channel, I was working at a drug and alcohol treatment center and typically like I, to drug addicts and alcoholics, I preach abstinence, all right? So anyways, I ended up starting my YouTube channel because I worked at a very expensive treatment center and to be honest, like it was, it, was, <laughs> it was during a time when I was like upset at the clients because they were ungrateful to have the opportunity to be in treatment. Because a lot of people wish they can go to treatment, all right? So I started this YouTube channel where I basically just started doing topics that I would do in groups at the treatment center here on my YouTube channel, okay? So although I'm not a licensed professional, you don't need to be a licensed professional to work at a rehab and do groups and things like that, all right? As long as you have supervision, which I did. So anyways, Whenever I get into a new project or anything, I do a lot of research, a lot of research. So when I started my YouTube channel, I started researching a bunch of other channels to see what other people were doing. Like, are there any other people who are in recovery on YouTube? What kind of videos are they making? You know, what's, what's the vibe like here on YouTube? And I looked up mental health channels and everything like that. So anyways, I started following a few channels who ran into some major issues for doing things like Tana Mojo's doing. So I'm gonna talk about three channels in particular that I found, um, who I've talked to and they're pretty cool dudes, um, but they ran into some issues because of talking about drugs or using drugs or whatever. So the first one is, the first one is CG Kid, okay? And by the way, I'll link all these channels down below if you wanna go check them out and subscribe. So CG Kid was somebody who I came across. He is also in recovery, but he started making videos about his experience trying a bunch of drugs, all right? So like he talked about like what, you know, what using these different drugs was like, okay? And I'm on the fence about that, but like, uh, and, and just for the reason being like, you know, um, I worry, like one of the concerns I have is like, is this romanticizing drug use and everything? But CG Kid, he makes a bunch of awesome content. Lately, he's been interviewing a bunch of people who are in recovery. So if you're somebody trying to get sober or you know somebody who is um, struggling with addiction, go check out CG Kid's channel because one of the best things that can happen to anybody who's struggling with this thing is to get hope from hearing other people's stories. But anyways, anyways, there was a period in time and all three of these guys I'm gonna talk about went through this, where CG Kid had to go back through his content and start deleting a bunch of videos like crazy and might have left the YouTube platform because YouTube started giving him community guideline strikes. So those of you who don't know how that works, once you get three of those, YouTube deletes your channel. And YouTube's reason for this was because of the talk of drug use on his channel, okay? So don't forget, Tana Mojo right behind me, smoking pot on camera, okay? The next one is 
Big No-No. So Big No-No is a man who is in recovery. He's still, I haven't watched his videos in, I don't know, a couple months. But anyways, uh, last I heard, he was still sober. But his channel, he's been on there for years now. And he's talked about his addiction, uh, his alcoholism, his recovery, his relapses, and everything like that. And it's really awesome seeing somebody get that vulnerable and share their story online. But anyways, Big No-No also got community guideline strikes for two reasons. One of them, one of them, because he uses something called TRT. I believe that stands for testosterone replacement therapy, okay? And I believe he has a prescription and everything like that, but he was sharing his experience about TRT. He would show people how he uses TRT, right? And YouTube did not like that because that's a medication. Now, the other thing is he also did a video a long time ago about um, his experience taking a benzodiazepine. So a benzodiazepine, I'm not, I can't remember which one he took, but benzos are things like Xanax, Valium, you know, a lot of people use those for anxiety. But anyways, YouTube started giving him community guideline strikes. I remember he couldn't even like live stream for a while because of the strikes against him. And again, don't forget, three strikes, you're out, YouTube will delete your channel. So, big no-no. He also went through a period where he was losing his mind and started taking down a bunch of videos in fear that his freaking channel might get deleted. So the last one I'm gonna talk about is the channel Psyched Substance, okay? So Psyched Substance, also an awesome channel, and his channel is more aimed towards something called harm reduction, okay? So Psyched Substance, he, he is pretty much a drug education channel um, who also advocates for harm reduction and things like that. But he talks about using a lot of psychedelics and things like that, and he explains them. He explains, you know, the safety around them. And I love it too, because he is a self-educated man, right? Like he's not a doctor or scientist or anything like that, but he does a ton of research and he shares that on his channel, right? It's huge. He hit a million, I think, uh, last year. He's a cool dude. Like, I made a video about him a long time ago, um, just uh, a response about his video about Kratom. And since then, he and I, um, we've been talking and stuff, and if I could ever, you know, <laughs> find the time to go travel, he and I might do a collaboration. But anyways, he started getting co community guideline strikes for his channel, okay? And he was actually in, I wanna say New Zealand. When this happened, he had like no internet access. He like recorded this video like in the dark, like freaking out about how he had to take videos down because he was worried that his channel was going to get deleted, all right? So again, Tana Mojo smoking pot on her channel, right? Like, here's the thing, here's the thing. Like, although I'm abstinent, I, as long as you are doing or using in a safe manner or you're getting help when you need help, I'm totally down with it, all right? But like, I'm pro weed. Like, I live in the state of Nevada. Um, I voted to pass uh, the legalization of marijuana a couple years ago, so it's legal here. Like, I don't care. Like, weed is one of the least harmful substances out there. Can it be harmful? Yes, and the fact that like the new studies have come out that some people have like psychotic episodes after they smoke, they have bad reactions. Yeah, that could be dangerous. Is it addictive? Yeah, it can be just like anything else, like food, sex, shopping, whatever it is, right? But the thing is, the thing is, is that people need to be educated about this stuff. I think a lot of the laws are absolutely ridiculous around some of the substances. Like, like the substances that psyched substance is talking about, like they just passed a law or they're passing a law in, is it Denver or is it the state of Colorado, where they're legalizing magic mushrooms and everything. And something I like to educate myself a lot about is the use of psychedelics when it comes to treating things like depression and trauma and anxiety and everything like that. So these are channels that are educating people and YouTube has been cracking down on them. And these guys, not only did they get scared out of their mind that their channels might be deleted, but they've had to like redo everything that they're doing, right? Something that Psych Substance talks a lot about is how it's been proven that alcohol is far more dangerous than like any of the drugs that he talks about. And he also like, um, promotes like drug testing kits to make sure that they're not mixed with things like fentanyl and things like that. Like he is very safe and educates people about substance use, right? So 
at the end of the day, like I look at channels like Tana Mojo where they're smoking pot, which is not even legal, which isn't legal on a federal level. Um, but I also see like Adam 22 when he does the No Jumper podcast, like the only episode I watched recently was the one with uh, Lil Xan. They're smoking pot in there too. And it's just interesting the double standard that's going on. And in my opinion, I wish YouTube would talk to more channels that are doing drug education and try to work something out, you know, and figure this thing out. Like I get it because, you know, um, it's not legal on a federal level and things like that. But it's like, I'm not trying to narc on Tana Mojo, but I think these channels are important because something something that I don't agree with, with like, you know, the school system or drug prevention problem, uh, uh, projects and things like that is like, they say like, just don't do drugs. Just don't do drugs. Like you guys, kids are gonna use drugs, all right? So we need channels. We need channels that are going to talk about these things, share their experience and be honest. Like that is the best thing that you can do is have an open dialogue with young people and explain the drawbacks, the potential dangers and everything like that. And then you have somebody like Tana Mojo who is an influence to obviously like millions of uh, young people out there. And it's like, and she's just smoking and everything. And I already made a whole video about her prescription drug use. I haven't seen her use or talk about using prescription drugs in a while and everything like that. But I would argue that some of these other channels are much more safe than channels like Tana Mojo. All right, but anyways, like I said, I will be linking down below CG Kid, Psych Substance, and Big No-No if you wanna go check out their channels. But let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts uh, on this topic of like harm reduction when it comes to substances and everything like just you know my personal view on it is like even though I cannot use drugs or alcohol like I know that's not going to stop other people from doing it and I'd rather people know how to do it safely than anything else all right but anyways that's all I got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the rewired soul and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you're all amazing and thank you so 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 much one more time for watching and I'll see you next time